What's up guys, YGO Strats coming at you with a Sylvan deck profile. Uh, they're kind of in that like roguish area where they can't compete, but they're definitely not topping anywhere at all ever. Um, I gotta say the deck's very combo oriented, it's very fun to play, it's very um, rewarding to get the combos off and very difficult if you don't know what you're doing. And it's got the problem of if you face something that spins the deck and shuffles it, or if you face something that pulls out Dark Law, you're going to hate life. But other than that, it's a very fun deck to play. It's one of my favorites. And it is a plant deck, which can be fun and very combo-oriented in and of itself. So, starting off the Sylvan Monster lineup. We're going to be running three copies of Sylvan Hermitry. Uh, I'll say all these Sylvan Monsters have two effects. One when they're face-up on the field, and one when they're excavated by a card effect. Uh, any card effect, so Curry Bandit could work in this deck. But... Three copies of Hermitry, level 8, good for level or rank 8 plays. Once per turn when he's on the field, you can excavate one card from your deck. The top card of your deck, if it's a plant, send it to the graveyard, if not, put it on the bottom. And when he's excavated, he will look at the top cards of your deck and rearrange them in any order. So if he is excavated, you can set up your plays for next turn. Or when he's summoned, he can excavate to get your plays going. Very handy. We're going to be playing three copies of Sage Akoya. Sage Akoya is a level 7 to go into rank 7 plays. Um, same with uh, Hermitry, where if he's on the field once per turn, you can excavate one to set up your combos. The other good thing about him is when a Sylvan card is sent to the graveyard, other than in the damage step, uh, you can special summon him from your hand. So if you excavate something with Hermitry and it is a Sylvan, you can special summon him from your hand, which is awesome. It's great. It's easy. Even rank 7 plays, that sort of thing. And then when he's excavated to the grave, you can add a Sylvan Spell or Trap from your deck to your, or from your grave to your hand. So it allows you to recycle our main spell card, which I'll go over in a bit. Gonna be running two copies of Flower Knight. Flower Knight's effect is that when he's summoned, you can excavate one right away. And when he's sent to the graveyard, you can, or when he's excavated and sent to the graveyard, you can pick one Sylvan card and place it on top of your deck. So when he's excavated, it sets up the combo for next turn. And when he plays, he's on summon, go into that. And level four, if you were to go into a rank four play. Three copies of Sylvan Marshall Leaf. Uh, when he's summoned, declare one or two. Excavate that many cards from the top of your deck if they're plant, same as the Hermitry and all that. And then when he's excavated, you can pick one monster on the field and pop it, so it's good for monster removal. And then easy summon to excavate one or two cards depending on how far you've set up. Two Kuma Shrew, he's the flip effect. When he's flipped, he uh, can mill one to five, excavate one to five, which can be nuts depending on what you get off. And then when he's excavated himself, he will pop one spell or trap. So I've been debating swapping that to Marshall Leaf, one Kuma Shroom. Uh, up to you for your preferences. Right now I'm finding this works fine just with the locals I go to, but in general you probably want to drop your Marshall Leaf count. I'm going to be running two copies of Princess Sprout. Uh, Princess Sprout's big effect is that you contribute her and excavate one, but more importantly when she's excavated you can pick a level between one and eight and special summon it and she'll take on that level so she can get into level eight or seven or whatever to go into rank uh, eight or seven or eight plays and then lower levels if you want to go into synchro plays. So she's very versatile and I definitely run her at two. I don't run it at three because three can get too bricky, too cloggy. Two works great. And then final for our Sylvan, two Peacekeeper. Not the greatest when you summon to excavate one but he's 400 attack, so you never want to do that. The main reason you run it is when he's excavated, you can special summon a level four or lower plant, so you can go into a, like a lone fire or something like that. It's fantastic for uh, recycling the things you've already used. For non sylvans I'm running two Fallen Angel of Roses. Just bounce one plant on your field to special summon it, but when it leaves the field, it's banished. It's honestly just for quick rank seven plays. It's a fantastic thing, like everything's a plant, so it's almost always live. And with Sage Akoya, it's really easy to go into like a first turn rank seven. Three copies of Lone Fire because it's Lone Fire and why wouldn't you? It's fantastic in any and all plant decks. It gets any plant deck monster from the plant type monster from your deck onto the field, so it's fantastic. Not too much to be saying about that. Lone Fire into Lone Fire into Lone Fire into Hermitry, set up your plays, that sort of thing. Two copies of Rose Archer. Uh, while you have a plant and they activate a trap, discard this and you gain destroy. Fantastic for stopping a mirror force or whatever you might run into. And then for the rest of the lineup for monsters, one Dandelion, one Spore, Glow Up Bulb, and one Rose Lover. Uh, Dandelion, Spore, and Glow Up Bulb are kind of like the generic plant engine. They're all fantastic. 
Tuner, tuner, gets you out tokens to go into tuning whatever gets into the graveyard. Because it's a plant, the Sylvans will excavate it, so it's all great combo pieces. Spore manipulates its level by banishing a plant in the graveyard to special summon it and adding the level of the banished plant. And with the level ones and whatnot, it's very easy to get, you know, level two, two to through to anything you'll need. And then Rose Lover, you can banish it and special one plant from your hand. So if you've got a hermitry in your hand and you're finding it's a little too bricky, it's easy to go into with that. So that is the monster lineup. It's a very monster heavy build. For the spells, three copies of Mad Sylvania. Uh, really just lets you ask any stuff on your opponent's turn. You can discard one plant to, what is the actual effect? You can discard some one plant from your hand or face up side of the field to the graveyard. Choose one silver monster, just one card from your deck and place it on top of your deck. You can only do that once per turn and once during your opponent's end phase you can excavate the top one. So it really helps you set up to disrupt on your opponent's turn or set up to do stuff on your turn. Big card, literally Sylvan Charity, not just a parody of its graceful charity. Draw three, uh, put two plant, two cards on top of your deck with at least one Sylvan. It's fantastic, we can recycle it with Sage Koya and you'll power through your deck. Definitely run at three. Two Miracle Fertilizer, once enough plants are in the graveyard, you can just special summon them to do whatever you want anyways. And then Regeki and Soul Charge. Soul Charge is obvious enough, this is like the great card in the deck. Once enough stuff's in the graveyard, Soul Charge, do it all again, that sort of thing. It's fantastic, definitely run it in Sylvans. And then Regeki's staple, destroy your opponent's monsters for no cost. And then for the trap lineup, two Royal Degrees. I don't like traps in this deck, you're excavating, I don't like running into them. So just these two to stop your opponent's trap cards. For the extra deck, for our Sylvan cards, we're gonna be running two Oraya and one ACV or big Sylvan Cat with 3200 defense. Oraya's 2800 attack, uh, you can send one plant from your hand or field to the graveyard to look at the top cards of your deck and equal to its level. So if you send like Hermitry, you can look at the top eight cards of your deck and stack them in any order. And then you can attach material, excavate one to three, and for every plant excavated, you can shuffle that many cards on your opponent's side of the field to the deck. So she's like a tiramisu for Sylvans. It's fantastic. I run it at two because I find it's just too good to go into. And then for uh, AC, 3200 attack, my, no, 3200 defense. I'm reading it upside down. I'm stupid. He just helps sets up your combo plays again. Um, his effect's very useful, but in general for rank 8s, I don't actually go into him. I go into either Tachyon or Felbrand. Uh, those are the other two rank 8s I run. Negating effects really is what these are both for. Felbrand's great because it's on either player's turn, and then Tachyon's great because it's 3000 attack. For my other rank 7s, Big Eye and Draco Sack, the staple rank 7s. Get rid of problem cards with the tokens or tributing itself to avoid something like Skill Drain, and then Steal Monsters. The final exceed card is Malaya of the Trees. That lets me reuse Lone Fires from the graveyard and that sort of thing. I find it's very helpful, and because I run three Hermit Trees and the two, or sorry, three Martial Leafs and the two uh, Peacekeepers, it's easy to get back into having two threes on board to go into this, and it's very helpful. For Big Synchros, one Leo, one Star Eater, both fantastic high level monsters. This is unaffected by all card effects during the damage step, so, like, when you're attacking towers, its attack will go back to 3200 because it's unaffected by it. And then Leo can't be targeted, so fantastic card. For my level 8s, I'm running one Stardust Spark, one Normal Stardust, and one Hot Red Dragon Archfiend. Uh, this just blows up attack position monsters, it's great. And then these two, this is like a Synchro Felbrand for all intents and purposes, but only on your turn. And then Stardust stops destruction. Stardust can stop something like Construct, it will stop the Regeki and Double Dark Holes that are being played like rampant. So. All three of these are good things I find to go into. Um, one Black Rose Dragon, we can use its first effect of banishing a plant and switching stuff from defense to attack and making its attack zero. You won't get that very often, but it is an option. The main reason is obviously blow up the field. And then finally I'm running one copy of Armades because Armades is like the best generic level five. And I find I can go into it often enough with combinations of Spore, Glow Up Bulb, and Flower Knight and all that nonsense. So that is our look at a Sylvan profile. Feel free to comment on anything you do differently with your profile and all that nonsense. Uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time on YGO Strats.